Okay, so welcome to the enzyme required practical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my sample um, and get the temperature to a stable 30 degrees in my water bath that I've already prepared using hot water. Each of my samples, I'll have a two mil solution in. There's my amylase, goes into the water bath. In goes my starch, two mil. And in goes my pH buffer. Now I have four, three options. I have four, six, and eight. We're going to be doing six, but you will have to test all three, whether you do it as a group or whether you do it on your own. Again, the same amount as amylase and starch. So they're all separate and they're all in my water bath. Now, while I'm reaching a steady 30 degrees, as I explained earlier, I'm going to prepare my spotting tiles and leave them to sustain that temperature. So to prepare my spotting tiles, I'm going to place a dot of iodine in each section. Iodine will show up if there is any starch. And the idea of this experiment is to show whether the starch has been digested over what amount of time, depending on the variable of what pH has been used. Okay, so now I've got my steady 30 degrees. Um, I am going to mix all three together to begin the digestion process. I'll give them a little flick just to get started. Now I'm going to take one straight away, quick sample onto my iodine and start my clock. So as you can see, the iodine is showing up starch. Every 10 seconds, I'm going to test the starch again. And so on. So, as we can see, the amylase is digesting the starch every 10 seconds. It's getting clearer and clearer on our iodine indicator. Be careful not to use too much or you'll end up with none left especially when you're working with pH that only digests it slowly. And this shows us that digestion has occurred. This is my first sample at zero. 10 seconds, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 seconds. One minute, 40 seconds to digest at pH 6 using the three samples mixed together at a standard temperature using 10 second intervals.